skill. Where do you come from? What is it you do? Anyone? Oh, come on. Uh, uh, like, in, in the United States, our certification process doesn't have any set maneuvers. Uh, it's, we, we base them around like rotation control, edge control, pressure control. But since there's no set maneuvers, and the examiners can modify those at any time during the course of the certification process, yeah. you're double checking for skillfulness. Over the course of 15 years, that has trickled its way down to the, to the lower level instructor and to the institution. Yeah, yeah. So you, there's really no set form or final form for the instruction to happen. You're developing more skill that way. So are you adapting to the people that you've got and working with those people? In, okay, all right, cool. And, um, and that, that is one of our concepts that we're looking at, is the adaptability. And the adaptability within our training is what we're trying to do with the skill. And a simple form of skill is, is the ability to be able to do something. But it's then being able to perform well using skill. is being able to do what you want, when you want, where you want, on the terrain that you want to, to uh, achieve it on. And so what we're looking at is that the way we're looking at it from the IA digital model is very similar. We're not a set form. We're not saying this is how you have to ski and how you have to look. We're looking for the skills to be working, but those skills can be adaptable. So as long as the skis are achieving what we want them to do, if the hands are pointing or doing slightly different things, it, it doesn't matter. It's about the performance, what's happening down here. As long as we're then in balance and we're moving correctly, we can adapt and change the skills. Okay. So our AZ skill model is looking at the movements and balancing being the backbone. And so we'll have our basic posture, the position will be in there. Very similar to what a lot of other nations are doing. We're not trying to reinvent the wheel here. And then what we're adding into our steering concept is we're, we start to look at timing. And timing becomes quite an important part of what you're trying to achieve. And as you adapt the steer, as the steer performs better, as they start to go further up the hill and use more of the mountain, the skills become quite essential that we can adapt, we can change our timing. And what we're just going to look at a little bit today is some of the skills and just a couple of simple drills that we do just to try and create some feeling, okay? One of the important backbones to all of this though is the mindfulness and you being aware and trying to translate that when you're teaching, that you're making the student aware of what's happening and how they're doing it. The important questions that we always get asked, you know, what are you doing and how are you doing it? And that's what we want to make people aware of. If you're mindful of what's going on, you're aware internally, intrinsically, what's happening, then we can start to see that externally. And that's not necessarily in a picture, but it's just setting up some ideas of what will be happening as you're skiing down the hill. So we're just going to start with something very, very simple. We're going to look at a little bit of four and a half. And we're just going to do a simple drill, which we're going to get a couple of our guys to demonstrate for you. And that's going to do something called a baby dolphin. And that is where the inside ski is moving up and down as you're going through the turn. So you're going onto the tail as you start, and you're coming onto the tip as you finish. The important part here is there are two ways to be able to use four and a half. One is you can go forward with the upper body mass and backwards. The more better way for us to ski as a good high performer is to be able to pull your feet back and forwards underneath you. We're just looking at that simple skill. But we'll start this off slow. And if we was examining a, a, a level one candidate for the entry level exam, we'd start this off quite slow, quite open, and give them time to be able to be aware of what's going on and to put the, the actual ideas into feeling. So they're getting the internal thought as well going, okay? So we're gonna watch the guys do a, do a couple of demos for us, and then we're all just gonna give it a simple try, okay? Okay, as you go down, like I said, just be aware of what you feel with the ski on the ground. Be aware of what you feel within your body. Positive, positive or negative doesn't matter. Just accept it for what it is as it comes in. And maybe as you come down, you can share that when you get to the bottom. Watch other people, see what you think they might be feeling as a result too. now is to pair up with someone get with someone else you can be aware of your internal feeling you can be aware if you are staying onto the tail or onto the tip of the ski we want you to be thinking and focusing on yourself another person can then watch you they can then give you an external view 
and see if it matches your internal view. Okay, so we're starting to really engage with what's going on internally, but the way to simply match it up, as we haven't got a video or big screen for us to look at, is just use someone else. So go with someone else, someone that you don't normally ski with, okay? And then just share it. Where we ski down to where we stop, we'll just share it so you swap over. So half the run, one of you is the performer, one of you is looking, and then swap over, okay? And this is about becoming aware internally of what you're doing, and then externally someone can give you that, that feedback. Everyone okay with that? Yep. If you want to start to go a little bit quicker and bring it a bit closer to the fall line, as you are all expert skiers, start to narrow it up and go faster if you want. Okay? All right, so what we're, what we're trying to achieve is we're trying to create this learn it, love it feeling and uh, try and put it into the performance. We're, we're trying to keep you moving, trying, giving you some info and trying to get you going. So just sort of going on to another quick drill exercise, because <coughs> it's already 20 past two, is we're going to go down here and we do the white pass turn. So the outside leg comes up and comes in. So now looking at movements and balancing, lateral plane of movement. Okay, so we're looking to come across the skis. And then it's trying to bring a little bit of a steering skill in by placing the edge down and letting the edge come back in. So it's not a steered rotational turn. Going back onto the edge and allowing that to come back through. But a little bit of speed with the slush, just be careful. Go at the passion tempo you're happy to go at. If you want to give it some, go for it. You're moving and what you're doing with your own performance. Stay focused on what you're trying to achieve. That's the key task here. Stay focused. Back okay? to the quad. So, four just leave. No, I think Mark. Oh, Mark. Oh, Mark. Oh, Mark. variations coming down and obviously the, the baby dolphin might have been very new to you so there might have been variations there because it was new 
in the white pass turn there might have been variations because you've done it before and you've done it a bunch of different ways. So Ryan here had uh, some differences between how he's, he's seen it used between how he might use it or how he teaches versus how he's seen it used. Do you want to yeah. let the gang know? So in our exam process, like I see this task a lot and I have a love-hate with it. One, it's a really fun task and it highlights a movement pattern that is important, but I see examiners in where I live in the California area using it to teach my candidates coming through as the move you know they're like yeah you need to be able to cross over and this is how you do it and so every time I come and ski with them I'm like what are you working on they're like oh white pass train I'm like okay why and they're like because we suck at crossover and I'm like and but it, it's there's so many more ways to do it and that's why like again like I love doing it I don't know if you watched me come down I was trying to grab oh, yeah. Yeah. you know but like it's like it like I just yeah I have that so if we take that moment and try to relate it in, into our approach there's this element where, where maybe there's a situation where the student doesn't necessarily understand if, well they actually seem to really know understand why they're doing it in the first place but they think it's just this one thing that's going to allow them to do that whereas we want a variety of approaches to create that end goal and by the same token we want them to be open to that variety so, so the question that was asked is, should the ski go back down at the fall line, above the fall line, after the fall line? All three, try them all. Learn, practice them all, right? Be open to trying different things, because that's what's going to get you to what would be our goal of that adaptable amount of skiing. It, could be, it can be the high-speed World Cup GF turn. It can be the beautiful powder skiing, trees, bumps, whatever you want it to be, right? And so when we are mindful and open to it, not judging what happens, that's when we can create these learning moments and it's what gets people to that next step of actually really yeah. loving what they're learning and then these are the guys that want to come back and come skiing the next year tell all their friends that they're a skier bring their friends skiing with them next year and that to us is how we get people through our philosophy of learn it love it live it and grow our sport for the future future dot snowsport <laughs> You're the first one to bring that in. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I, I think it's, it's important just to quickly say it. As some of you went off, right, I couldn't even see if you were smiling because your heads were away from me. <laughs> but just the fact that some of you are trying to get the ski over the back of your head and perform this task just tells us you are experiencing the moment. You've loved what the Irish team are doing. <laughs> <laughs> short period of time and and we're ever ever expanding we're starting to run courses around around the world but what we're trying to do is be open and honest and, and follow this philosophy about being aware of what's going on and we're, we're sharing all of our information it's all on the website you can get access free pdfs you can download it you can look at it read it you can come and question us at any any point even if mark's got an empty bottle of jameson's tonight Go and speak to him. <laughs> That's dangerous, <laughs> dangerous. Film it. We're, we're just going to do one fast. last one last part here just for you guys to ski back down into the bottom and then we'll finish up and then we'd like to get a nice big group picture of you all. Oh, okay. But what we'd like you just to do is be free to ski now. Relax, enjoy it, experience the moment. Be aware of what you're doing, but enjoy it. Have fun. Yeah, and we'll see it where we sort of started from in that arena area. We'll stop there and we'll get a nice big team play. Just uh, thank you for everyone for listening. And just one last thing as we go down. Our indoor lecture is, is all about uh, flowing uh, flowing of mindfulness. It's uh, Derek, our head of the delegation's uh, ma uh, master's project at the moment that currently the demo team is taking part of. So we're hoping that our performances uh, while we're skiing yeah. reflect uh, Derek's, uh, Derek's hard work and research. So if you're more interested uh, about it, four o'clock. First for Derek's indoor what uh, room? there as well. Six. Room six. Room six. Yes. I'm Ryan Christopherson. I'm from uh, PSA National. I live in California, out of the Tahoe area. Um, I thought it was fantastic. It was a lot of fun. Um, we skied a bunch, which was nice. Uh, and, uh, but what I what I'm taking away from it was versatility, adaptability, and playfulness as far as like what we need to be able to do in our scheme that makes a good skier. Um, but also, are you able to be physically, internally aware of that? And then how do we work on that? Like, I liked how you guys had us in pairs where here's what I was feeling, what were you seeing, you, see you know, and like, so that way, because I mean, as, as, an, as an examiner and an educator, I appreciated that because 
a lot of times, you know, when we're working with our candidates and then we send them off to go ski and then I come back, what have you been working on? They're like, well, I don't know. You haven't been here. I'm like, <laughs> you know, I'm like, you need to, you know, you so need you need to be aware of something. Yeah. So like, yeah. because, you know, I mean, we're not with people all the time. So like, yeah, I mean, this is a whole, I, I, I thought it was fantastic. Thank cool. you very much.